Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at GPT 3.5 Turbo with Siri and Dolly, which is a great addition Thanks to help with to visualize anything that you're talking about in a conversation. So as you can see here now, I'm asking Siri Ultra, the first bicycle. and then from there it gives me some details, and then later on I ask some follow-up questions, and then I say show One me, sec. and after that feature actually it just shows me that example view based difficult. on our conversation that is generated by Dolly. Also, I adjusted the shortcut to include some help prompts that can help with you some items. Please check the middle of the video for those. Set up that much easier than the previous version. So conversation is still ongoing there. Now I ask to show me. So basically, there is an algorithm I included here based on our summary of conversation. It asks to visualize what we spoke about. And then it gives you the summary plus the visual all right so let's see how about if you just want to visualize something in that case you just say visualize and then select an option like small medium or large and from there it just asks you what's in your mind so you can just tell what you want to get as a image from this dolly feature and then basically it will just take a moment and provide you that image however you describe and it will save it to your notes. So I will show you how you can set up this one much easier with the setup options that I included in the shortcuts. Remember, shortcuts are very helpful in terms of having your own kind of hybrid based on different shortcuts you can find around. So you can always just uh, keep investigating and finding more shortcut options for yourself. Once you go to the link in the description and download it, click on the setup shortcut button. So here there will be some options and first three options I recommend to keep as is, but you can always change that by customize section after you make the changes as well. So the important part is the last portion where you will input your API key here. So once you put your API key, so here is an additional view and details just in case uh, in the comment section where, where you need to make the changes if you pass this step in the future. Let's give it a look with the help prompts as I mentioned. So you have some options here to go with. So here you can get the API keys. If you haven't got your API key yet, it's a shortcut that you can easily do that. So here how you can actually check more details in the YouTube channel that we had in the previous video, more detailed version. All right, so let's give it a try with the texting option from the shortcut I also included some other help prompts here. You can also check the language models. So what each language models means and how it can help with your own scenario there. You can also update that in your shortcut as well.
and from here you can check the usage stats in the future so as you know first three months of this api key is for free but after then you need to add some extra money in your account so that you can keep using this feature or you can always use it with your families and friends so you can keep adding new and new accounts and then use your api key shared with them if you would like All right, so let's try the visualize feature again with another example. Thanks again for watching the video, please don't forget to subscribe, get notifications and leave a comment for your next video ideas and if you have any questions. Bye for now!